I'm sorry, but but I just I just have to like I I just have to. Today's video is is a rant video. I'm like I'm angry. There there's some things going on that just make me angry, and I've tried to just ignore it. And then again, it makes me angry, like seeing it every day. So I think I just need to address it, but I need to do it in a smart way. So let's get started. You said run. There's monsters hiding in your bed. So first of all, like to 99.9% .9 of you guys out there, thank you. Like I've started this channel five years ago. I'm capturing every single day my life as a DJ and producer. I capture the good stuff, the bad stuff, everything in between. Me struggling, being broke, building a small studio, like employing people, going to conventions, DJing, being drunk, throwing up, being frustrated, being happy again, accomplishing stuff, having 10,000 subscribers, having 100,000 subscribers, all is right here on this channel. I really started with zero. No place on Spotify, no place on SoundCloud, nothing. And everything I got, I built up over these past five years. And I wouldn't be where I am right now with you guys' support by either watching um, at the very beginning, supporting me like through Patreon, um, I don't know, buying a sample pack, getting a song mixed and mastered. Like these kind of things are supporting me as well as just knowing that other people care and watch is motivation. Like having, having to deliver every day a video that is in some sort of form meaningful or where I accomplish something or I just do something is just like a big kick in your ass every single day. And I love that. I love the grind. I love the struggle. I like pushing myself. I don't have a boss as a self-employed producer. So you guys or me making these videos is kind of compensating for it. So in general, it's doing me very well. And especially the, the comments, like the, there, there are a lot of positive comments that really encourage me to do things. There are a lot of neutral comments with information that is really helpful to me. There are also some negative comments, but that's just like part of the game. I'm used to it. It doesn't affect me. And I, I also learn from these people. Sometimes they're just right. I'm doing something wrong. They tell me it's wrong and I've learned something. That's good because this is not me teaching you stuff. It's like a back and forth, at least a lot of. But lately, <sighs> there's some, again, it's just like a percent of a percent of a percent. There are some people that are just idiots. And I don't know why in the past couple of weeks, the amount of idiots either increase or everyone else is commenting less, or maybe because I, I, I had like a rough two weeks, um, very, very much to do. I addressed it already yesterday. So maybe it's that, but I just, I just want to talk about it and, and clear things up. So there, there are some people that like, how do I put it? They just call me a Jewish rich motherfucker and stuff like that, which I think is kind of ridiculous. I never made my religion the topic of these videos. Never, ever, ever, ever. And I think religion doesn't, doesn't matter. It's like something private. It's something that you like do with yourself and no one else should care. I think we should judge people based on their actions and their, their behavior than on, on things that they just are. I mean, I didn't choose that religion. I, I was born this way and raised this way. Uh, someone that is black, like he didn't choose that. He, he is just black and that's totally fine. I mean, who cares? The color of your skin, your religion, where you're from, doesn't matter. It doesn't say who you are. There are like good white people, bad white people. There are nice gay people, not so nice. Like, you know what I want to say? Like, it, it doesn't matter. It's like your personality, your past experience, and how you behave in your environment that really matters. If someone is an asshole, he's an asshole, no matter what religion, color, skin, or whatever he has. It's like, it's pointless. And I'm getting angry about it, not because not I'm like... Cause, cause it hurts me. I don't, I don't care. Um, it makes me angry because I'm, 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 I'm angry that there are still people exist that are behaving like this and think like this. That's like the worst part, because there's a bigger amount that thinks like that and doesn't say anything, and that there's no way to to change that or that all of the arguments that are so obvious are so hard for these people to, to grasp. I don't know why. I, I just don't get it. That makes me so angry. This kind of part, I don't get the why. 
There is no logical reason for hate that doesn't even have any kind of, like, the, there is no substance for it. It's random. We could also say everyone that was born in January is an asshole. That's how random this, this entire shit is. It just doesn't make any sense. So please stop that. I was even thinking about filtering because I can filter in my comment section. I can type in words and whenever someone writes that, his comment doesn't go through. But that's also a little silly. So um, I will just keep on ignoring these people. I wish I could make them disappear, but that's that's not possible. But yeah, that's that's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, and while we're at it, there are also some people in the comments, and I mean, it's fine. Some people complain about whatever I do. I'm, I'm used to it. Like I share what I do on a daily basis. So people want me to do things differently because they have a different opinion, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think I know what I'm doing, um, especially when it comes to music. I just do what I like and I just go with the flow. And telling me that I should change my style of music to something else it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know, it's again the why that annoys me. And then there are the people, especially in the last couple of weeks where I'm getting like a lot of gear, they don't get the gear part. And I already explained that a million times, like the gear for me is an investment, it's a toy, it's a hobby, I don't have any other hobbies. I'm luckily finally able to afford these things. I always wanted to have a MOOC synthesizer. I always wanted to have an MS-20. I always wanted to have a DX7, always. Like I'm dreaming about these things already for years. And now that I'm finally able to afford them and I'm buying them, some people are just, I don't know if they're just jealous or don't get it, but they're just really mean in the comments. And like the worst was, I think a couple of people said that, how dare I buy things right now during COVID? So it's just like, ah, it doesn't make any sense on so many levels. Like, first of all, I can buy whatever I want. I can spend my money on, on the silliest things. I could buy a Lamborghini. Okay, I couldn't buy a Lamborghini. I don't have the money for that. But I could buy a new car. But the car doesn't serve any purpose. So I, I rather invest my, my money into new camera gear so you have nicer quality. I invest my money in building the studio so I have a nicer studio to work in that inspires me, helps me to make better music, more room acoustic, and this kind of stuff. And if some of these things just help me a percent, and if it's just me touching them and twisting knobs to come up with something new, be creative, um, I, I think it's worth it. And if, if it doesn't help me, I will sell these things again. For example, I had like one pedal here, a blue one. I tested it for a week, I didn't like it. I'm sending it back. Also the Pioneer thing right here, some things are not working. I contacted Pioneer three times, they didn't answer, so I'm probably going to send it back. I'm very efficient, I'm still the same John as five years ago uh, that was struggling and didn't have any money. I'm still not wasting anything, I learned it back then. I, I was like returning refundable bottles to, to have like lunch. So I'm, I'm still like, if I have something, I have to use it. And if I have it, it has to serve a purpose, if it doesn't, it's just going. And yeah, that COVID thing, like an, another level, like me buying stuff during COVID and, and it's, I think some people said it's not tasteful. <sighs> Let me tell you a story. You see, for example, no, the wave station is right there, but also the Corgan one. I bought that stuff from other musicians that are struggling and they, they couldn't sell these things. So I'm, I'm happy to pay someone to pay rent. I mean, they, they give me they give me a synthesizer they're not using anymore or that is laying around for already 10 years and no one is using it. So I think it's a win-win situation. And also um, me buying new synthesizers, these companies that make these synthesizers, they're struggling as well right now. So spending during a crisis, if, if you're not affected as much, is by far the smartest thing you can do. Because, I mean, it's basic economics. Money on your bank account is not like... It, it doesn't do anything. If you spend it, someone else has it to support their family or they can spend and someone else can earn. It just makes a lot of sense, I think. It's something very basic. And people telling me I shouldn't buy anything during COVID because it's not tasteful are just stupid. Just, just stupid. So yeah, that's, that's just what I wanted to say. I don't know. It's kind of, it's again the why that annoys me a little. Um, last point, people telling me to, to change my music. Um, I sometimes get comments. Um, I just ignore them. They don't even make me angry. It's just like th these people don't think very far. 
I have a lot of people that tell me, also a lot of my friends are like, hey, you're a music producer. Why don't you make like an edit or a remix of an old song? Like you'd be so successful, just do it. Or why are you not, you're not making music like Robin Schultz? Or why are you not making music like Kygo? I think these people, they, they have like the wrong attitude. They think like, how can I make as much money as possible? Okay, let's copy the guys that make a lot of money. And that thinking is, is, is skewed, like it doesn't work this way. You have to be the first one that is doing that stuff. You have to be the first one or the one that does it early on and really good. You have to develop new things. So instead of like looking what other people do and copy them and always be behind and always be like second and third, if even, why not think, and that's my thinking, why not think about what is no one else doing right now? That's the stuff that's interesting to me. What chord progressions is no one using right now? Which synthesizers is no one using right now? Which kind of sounds, which combination of styles is no one doing right now? Or maybe something really old that no one is doing anymore, like give it like a, a fresh, like revisit and, and do it in a new, new way. I think that's like what, what's important as an artist. We don't, need, we don't need more of the same thing. We need new stuff, new and good. That's always the best combination. Thanks again. I know this only addresses a percent of a percent, 99.9% .9 of the people right here on this channel watching in the comments on Instagram are really kind and really help me. Like I think without this channel, without your support, without this ongoing kicking myself in the butt to make stuff, to present it to an audience without the pressure, I think I wouldn't, I wouldn't be making music anymore. Like five years ago, I was like, or more than five years ago, I was ghost producing for other people and I made a living with it. It was decent, but I wasn't happy. And, and I think like back then I was younger and having less money when you're younger is fine, but supporting a family, supporting maybe kids, maybe like just do what grown-ups do. I think it wouldn't be possible. I think think really I wouldn't be making music at least full-time anymore. So I'm, I'm happy I did it. I'm happy I, I stayed true to myself and, and kept on making these videos, kept on making the music, and I'm thankful that you're, that you're like still here. So thanks a lot, guys. Tomorrow, a regular vlog back here in the studio. I'm working on a song called Ashes, the final 5% of it. I'll share everything with you tomorrow.